Primetime Adventures. Okay, so Primetime Adventures, like Inspectors, is a game that tells one and only one story, one kind of story. It makes a TV series, any sort of serial TV series, right? So it can actually cover a wide variety of genres. If you want to do Lost, the role-playing game, perfect. Game of Thrones, perfect. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You, know, you can use this for a lot of anime games if you want it to be like a, you know, a Cowboy Bebop situation, perfect, right? The mechanic we want to point out here, this is actually a card-based game, you play with a deck of playing cards, uh, is the screen presence, right? You basically, you must play nine sessions of this game for it to work, right? And the, what you do is, at the very beginning, when you make the characters, you determine your presence per episode, right? And if you think about, you know, TV series, it's like, yeah, there's a lot of characters, and some episodes focus on one of them, like Simpsons, right? Yep. It's like, this is a Moses-like episode. He's just all over this episode. He's trying to get with Marge. Remember that one? Yeah. Mo right? all so Mo has a really high screen presence in episode three. But you know, in episode four, Homer goes to Mo's bar once, and that's it, really. Maybe he gets a prank call from Bart. So his screen presence in that episode is going to be like one or two, right? And the screen presence, the higher it is during that session, the more power you have to exert your influence on how the conflicts are resolved. So more of the scenes in the game are going to want to involve you. Other characters, if you take turns, when a character has a scene, they're going to want to get you involved in that scene so you can exert your influence and help them you know, get whatever they want in that scene or you know, and, you know, have whatever. Uh, have more cards basically available because the number is how many cards you get and such. Right? So you're going to be in more scenes. There will be more screen presence. Now, remember, we're not good at writing or telling stories, right? But there's a certain math involved in setting those screen presence numbers, right? Uh, and the people who made this game, they are good writers. They are good storytellers. That math happens to coincide with having really good pacing, right? Having really good, you know, evenly distributed character focus. So even if you're bad at writing, just by following the rules, you will tell a good story, right? You're not, at least not going to get those parts wrong. The pacing will be good and the character focus you know, being shared equally will be good. You're going to mess up something else. Think about the problems this is already solving. I mean, like we said, the guy with a lot of charisma at the table who's talking, constantly bowling everyone over in D&D. &D. This game forces all of you to spread the story around to all the characters. No one's being left out at any point. It also forces you to really think about what does my character want? I can only have so much screen presence. Do I want to be big in this episode or that episode? It also, another kind of side, when other games do this better, this game forces you to write down who your nemesis is. So if I write Kelvin Blackstaff as my nemesis, then he is guaranteed to be in the story. It's part of the rules. He is my enemy. But you can actually use the rules. Because it's written down in the character sheet, it matters. It's not like D&D &D where you write character background and you can't force any... There's no rule about that. It's just a flavor text. Everything on here in most, all of these games is real text where there's a rule about it. If you have a connection, Kelvin Blackstaff, you can... Boom! Kelvin Blackstaff shows up in the diner. Right? It happens. He would you never say it happens, it happens. It's a rule. <laughs> as long as you have him on your sheet. If I'm going to tell the story of my character here, I'm not going to talk about my strength stat. That's not interesting. And it turns out that that's the only part of my character that is character, that is story, who he knows, what he's done, where he's going, why he fights for what he fights for. That's it. And that whole character sheet, that's it. Yeah, so, you're trying to tell me this is a role-playing game, but what percentage of it has anything to do with role-playing? That percent. And most of that is a picture. Now you've been